How did a small village become a reference point for energy transition? Finizi is a community of less than a thousand inhabitants located in the French region of Bourgogne. As it lies in woodland, the mayor has chosen to switch the heating system for public buildings from oil to chipped wood. The new boiler room cuts costs by more than half and enables a saving of 63 tonnes of CO2 emissions per year. It's an old world that's been modernised. Before, we used to heat with wood. Today, we heat with wood, but using very advanced technology. It's a different type of energy, another type of heating that's grafted onto an existing installation. Transferring energy from fuel oil to wood creates a real saving on operating costs, even taking into account investment costs. The transition to a cleaner and renewable source of energy costs around €277,000, partially funded by the European Union's cohesion policy. Chipped wood to feed the boiler system comes from the 800 hectares of communal forests that are under the control of environmental authorities. It comes mainly from coppice waste, dead trees, or trees that have been felled for safety reasons, like here, near a minor road. The annual needs of the municipality in chipped wood are 80 tonnes. Generally, the wood is cut in winter, and in May to June this wood is crushed and it's stored in a shed so that the wood can dry out. So we leave it to dry out for about three or four months and then we use it directly for the communal boiler room. To guarantee the best energy performance, this natural fuel is shaped in the form of small homogenous pieces of dry wood. The community of Venezi is also benefiting directly from this activity as the wood is processed by local contractors. At the end of the day, the energy transition has created a full circle in terms of business and the environment is part of this virtuous cycle. The waste that the boilers produce, I mean the ash, will be incorporated into compost. What is taken from nature goes back to nature at the end of the day. The main network delivers heat to the city hall, nearby public housing and two schools. Another facility serves a cultural centre on the outskirts of the village.